Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation, and today we're having a bit of a small update video in order to go over uh, the avatar boards that came out today, uh, which came with some very much needed skills <laughs> for us, as well as uh, a small error uh, update that uh, that has gone on. Okay, so starting off with the error that uh, that happened, okay. Senna has made a small update uh, regarding towards the VIP for this week. And as you can see here, they even updated uh, the current uh, weekly VIP deal uh, notice to include the, the update error and stuff like that. And they basically mentioned in this error update uh, that because of the fact that they placed the wrong multiplier for the Toon Axel and Pluto medal uh, for this week's VIP, uh, but because of the fact that they mistyped that by accident, they're going to be sending everyone who purchased the VIP deal um, and everyone else who will purchase the VIP deal for any time this week. So even if you didn't buy already, if you buy any time throughout the week, you'll still get a Fantasia McBee medal. Um, and we will be getting the Fantasia Mickey B medal on the 21st, which is the Monday. Okay, when, when, via, when the week resets, basically. But at the very least, I think it was very generous of them to do so, and uh, at the very least, I'm appreciative of the fact that they're giving that out to everybody. So I wanted to cover that at the very least. But aside from that, so this week's Captain Goofy Avatar boards, all right, uh, they're 2,500 jewels a piece for each board, which honestly, for what we're getting, I honestly don't think like that's actually pretty good. That's pretty decent. Um, but this is what we get, okay? So ignoring all the other uh, other stuff, okay? So like, who cares? Like not caring about the magic mirrors and brooms and whatnot, the gems, whatever. Okay, the skills that we're actually getting in this is attack boost six max and gauge two, along with attack boost five max and lux plus plus. That's new, as well as defense boost four skills. Okay, that's what you're getting in each of the avatar boards. So essentially, if you can get both avatar boards. You'll be getting four attack boost max skills, uh, which is very much needed. And as well as one of them being a Lux plus plus skill, which is a completely new type of like a uh, ability or a completely new type of skill within the game, uh, which I know lo lots of Lux farmers out there are going to be going absolutely nuts for. And honestly, I'm ex I wouldn't doubt it if maybe even next week we might see another avatar uh another set of avatar boards featuring the, like the uh magician donald avatar boards because I, I believe jp got that like within the same time period that the uh captain goofy avatar boards came out so um this this might honestly be uh senna's way of helping us get our skills back which i mean on my part i feel a little bad because i spent i spent a little bit of time putting together this meme for this for our next uh twitter raid if needed but uh i figured i i would wait until the uh near the end of when the stained glass avatar bo uh banners are going to end first because i i kind of already theorized that some avatar boards will be coming near the end of the time when the stained glass medals would be ending anyways um and i wanted to wait till the end of the week because uh, especially since they already announced that that like these boards were to come out, so I wanted to see what was coming out first before I, before I start any new type of Twitter raid. But these do contain. If you get both, you do get four m new uh, attack boost max skills, which is very much needed. We still have a lot of medals that they popped out at us that uh, we would still need attack skills for. But at the very least. Uh, we're not like in a constant drought anymore. It's more like we're still a little dehydrated uh, But at the very least we're not like on the brink of death <laughs> of, <laughs> of Thirst, but in terms of the skills uh, This is what I want to suggest about it D Depending on where you are right now like as of right now for me. I personally I'm going to personally save these attack boost max skills uh, solely because, well, because of, like, a couple reasons. Um, the first one being that solely because of the fact I have absolutely no idea as to when is going to be the next time that, uh, they're going to release an avatar board with good skills like this one, alright? I have absolutely no idea. They could take two months again like they did last time. <laughs> 
until, you know, just now. Uh, to release more avatar skills. So it's like, I, I'm going to be saving these and I'm only going to be using them when I actually need to use them. Alright, so just to kind of give you guys an example, uh, let me let me look at, let me show you guys something that like kind of happened to me recently um, after I got these avatar board skills. Okay, so like, let's look, let's look at this. Okay, actually, I'm going to look at all my medals. Alright, um, just recently, I was looking at potentially giving either one or two of my medals the uh, attack boost max and lux plus plus skill uh, to, to help out my raid boss uh, lux setups and whatnot okay so let me show you guys this so if I organize this by raid boss traits all right and I'm only gonna look at my tier six and seven medals because uh, that's what I want to try to use if possible or my six my six and up medals if possible because that's what I want to use for raid boss setups now in terms of damage medals anyways and these are all my medals as of right now that have that are uh, tier six or higher that have raid boss traits. All right. Now there's a few medals in here that I actually uh, was particularly interested in possibly giving some uh, luck skills to. All right. One of them being my my uh, Kingdom Hearts three King Mickey EX because he does have two raid boss traits on him. Um, and he doesn't have a max skill on him, so I could very easily just give him the uh, Lux Plus Plus skill because it is a max skill too. All right. Uh, and same thing would be said for my HD Final Form Soar as well, because he also has two raid boss traits on him. And but uh, and like having a Lux Plus Plus skill on him would just be like absolutely fantastic for like Lux setups and stuff. However, uh, what I kind of want to point out for this is the fact that like don't just because you have the skills don't just waste them automatically i know some people that like because the fact that we finally got skills after a long ass time uh you, you might start being a little trigger happy and just wasting your skills all of a sudden and this is kind of like the kind of example i want to show you guys so one thing that i do and that you guys should also do when you're trying to figure out what type of raid boss or lux setups and stuff that you should uh, they want to try and put together is first of all uh, go to your keyblades okay and you want to basically try and construct what you would hopefully would want your uh, future lux setups to be and I'll be making a future raid boss uh, lux setup guide in the future but at the very least I'm going to give you some like quick uh, tips for this uh, at least for this and stuff. Um, so because of the fact there's three different attributes in the game, three main attributes in the game, power, speed, and magic, you want to try and hopefully uh, create at least one Keyblade setup towards each of those uh, attributes if possible, if you have enough metals to do so. If you don't, you can obviously go down to two or even just one and just use that one for like everything. Uh, but at the very least, you want to try and create setups in advance so that way you already have an idea as to like which metals would you prefer to add Lux Plus skills and such to. Alright, so like for example, right here I have on my sleeping line a possible Lux, a future uh, Lux setup that I could possibly use based off like what my medals currently have and I haven't put any new skills on them just yet okay and one thing I want to basically point out is that like uh, my key art 16 EX plus has the raid boss trait on it all right my just like I've showed before HD Final Four Summer has two raid boss traits on it and then in my spirit slot I have an illustrated Neku who has two raid boss traits on him okay so out of these metals, uh, oh, I should also state that my Key Art Bunt already has a max, uh, has a Lux Plus skill on it. It doesn't have any raid boss traits, but it does have a Lux Plus skill, so I can use that in my setup. Um, my HD Antiform Sword doesn't have either a Lux Plus trait or raid boss, but because of the fact that I want to use uh, this HD Antiform Sword to get the extra uh, upright debuff off my Key Art 16 EX Plus, uh, I put him there in the setup, as well as because of the fact that, like, I'm using a, an upright setup and, like, that third slot's a reverse setup, so I might as well just put, like, anti-form sword in that slot, in my case. Um, but yeah, like, out of these metals in this setup, I would preferably want to put my HD Final Form Sora or my Illustrated Neku 
uh, with the, uh, since they both have like double raid boss traits on them, with the uh, Lux++ plus plus skill form, okay? However, what you gotta take into consideration is uh, the possibility of like other setups as well. So like even though this is my setup right now, I could very easily uh, still run a like somewhat speed type setup on my fairy stars for example as well. So like in this case, all right, so taking my fairy stars for example, okay, this is a possible uh, luck setups like that I could use against raid bosses, okay? And I left that speed slot open for this like little example uh, presentation, okay? But all of my medals in this setup, aside from my main buffer debuffer medals right here in the first two slots, if they, if you, if like you can give it a Lux Plus skill while having, still having second chance and such, uh, that's awesome, but you know, it's not required for the first two medals. But uh, the rest of my medals do have a Lux Plus skill on them. So ideally what I would want to do for my setup right here is I would want to put a speed upright medal right here that has both a raid boss trait and a Lux Plus skill if possible. And because of the fact I am looking to put a Lux Plus skill on one of my medals, um, I want to look at like what are the best candidates to put in that slot. So as of right now, these are all my medals, all my speed upright medals that have a raid boss trait on them. Now, uh, now out of these five medals, my Illustrate Aqua B already has a Lux Plus skill and that has two raid boss traits. Uh, my Aqua and Stitch has a Lux Plus skill. It's not the best attack max skill, so like maybe that could be upgraded, but it does have a raid boss trait. Um, but out of the ones that don't have a Lux Plus skill, that would be my HT Final Form Sora and my Illustrated Neku, all right? However, this is where things get interesting, and this is why I say you gotta be like, uh, you gotta start kind of like taking into account like other setups and like actually paying attention to what you put skills on because of the fact that like just because the metal would be a good like damage metal for a rate for luck setup doesn't mean that that's like actually the metal you would want to have that lux plus skill on all right and let me show you this for example okay so like if i put this hd final form sora right here yeah this setup will still do a lot of damage However, ideally in a normal setup, so outside of a Lux setup, I would typically want to have my Key Art 16 right here in the fifth slot instead, because it does provide that upright defense down debuff, okay? It even helps that mine has an extra attack, so I get like, I get minus four just from himself, um, on top of I have my Shion copying it. And when it comes to Lux setups, you guys have to keep in mind that the more damage that you can do per metal, the more Lux you can get as well. Uh, kind of similar to like how the high score challenges work. The more damage you can do with the metal, uh, high score challenges more by hits. Raid bosses are more like just in general. The more damage you can do with the metal, the more Lux you can get. <clears throat> so in this case, like I want to try and maximize my damage output as much as possible on my setup while still being able to get uh, like raid boss traits and putting Lux skills on it. So. For in this case, because of the fact that uh, this setup is just going to naturally do more damage solely because of the fact I have minus six uh, upright defense down debuffs just from these last two medals right here that I have in red. This setup will do more damage and potentially get me more Lux uh, if I put a Lux Plus skill on my Key Art 16, even though it only has one raid boss trait instead of two, uh, compared to using my HT Final Form Sora whose ability isn't going to do anything uh, besides give me the plus one upright buff uh, because of the fact I already have all my up, uh, my general defense down debuffs maxed out. Uh, it will just literally be there for damage. So it's, it's those type of things you have to take into account. So because of this, because of the fact that like this right here uh, is a thing where providing upright defense down is going to be important from now and even in the future for future raid boss setups and such, I would probably want to consider putting a Lux Plus setup on my Key Art 16 out of all of my other speed upright medals uh, instead, even though my other speed upright medals might have more raid boss traits on them. Okay. So it's 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 these type of things they have to take into consideration uh, when you get new skills and such. Uh, and I'm honestly going to be holding on to my Lux Plus uh, skills until I actually need to use a speed setup for whatever reason. And also partially because of the fact that like I like right now my Key Art 16 already has a attack boost 6 max and I don't want to replace it with a lower attacking skill because it is attack boost 5 max and Lux++. Plus plus. 
Uh, so I don't want to downgrade it. So I'm actually going to wait it out and see when I actually need to use a uh, speed setup before I make any changes. Uh, so take those into account. Remember, uh, it's probably best if you can already plan out in advance what you would like your future raid boss luck setups to be. Just because of the fact that that right there can actually help you figure out which of your metals you would actually want to use Lux Plus skills on. Or, or uh, find out which of the metals you would want to try and get raid boss traits on as well. One of the two or both. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. I just wanted to give that quick little review overview and such. Uh, but if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload new videos such as this one. Other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and New Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.